Hi there, well, my name is John Daly, and this is my partner, Eugene Gamble. So we're here with Daly Harvest. We've designed a four-season geodesic greenhouse that obviously has the cap capability of growing food year-round. Through active and passive solar systems, we're able to maintain adequate soil temperatures to, to do just that. And so today, May 25th, we've just been talking about how, we, how we've done that and give people a, a tour. Okay, so we're on a 10-acre property in Black Diamond in Alberta, which we get to minus 35 quite regularly. So we're talking about a four-season greenhouse technology using passive and active solar systems. And so through the use of smart design, thermal mass principles, and using active and passive solar, we're able to maintain adequate soil temperatures. This is our active solar evacuated tube um, array, which is heating the water and the, and the growing bed. So we type the, take the hot water that's produced in here. This is the solar, the uh, PV panel that works the pump, the uh, solar pump. We heat the water in the tank. We've got a thousand gallon tank in there. Heat the water in there to whatever we, determine which you can probably be about 100 degrees then we start bypassing the water into the growing beds to keep the soil temperature up and then it can either come out or it can come back out here as well if we don't need the heat so that's the that's the first component is the the water side then we have a um, subterranean subterranean air heating system where we take the heat from the top of the dome pump it underground with two fans and it's there's 600 feet of pipe underground and we store the heat in, in mass down there and then we get cool air coming out in the summer to help cool the dome and then in the winter time we bring the heat that we've stored all summer out to heat in the winter and then we're also using thermal mass from the growing raised growing beds to also add to the heating. So then structurally, um, this is just a polycarbonate on the outside. What's, what mill is this? It's a five wall triple glaze polycarbonate, which is 16 millimeters. Right. And so this provides uh, five walls with three air gaps. And so that gives us really good R values. Uh, some people say about 4.6. I've heard different numbers. Uh, but that gives really good R values as well as light diffusion. And so we maximize like 80, 85%, depending on numbers that you look at. But inside, once you see that plants just thrive, in it. And so this is a 26 foot diameter geodesic dome. It's a three frequency. And so the frequency tells you kind of the panel size and how they might be placed together. And so as far as the shape, it's very structurally sound as anyone knows. Can, can handle any wind, wind uh, speed out here as well as uh, any snow load. So it's very structurally strong. And so a lot of people say this will outlast like any house that's built in this, in this uh, city or this area. So here we are in our 26-foot geodesic dome, and so we're just talking about that uh, evacuated tube system outdoors. And so that's piped in through these copper pipes here and runs through a pretty simple system, which to explain, maybe I'll do that on, a, on another, another video, but the first heat dump will actually be in the water here, and maybe you can see there's a, a coil that uh, spirals down to the bottom of the tank. This is a 1,000 gallons of water. And so all the, all the heat is first dumped into this water and it provides a really nice thermal battery. So at nighttime or when it's too cold in the winter time, that heat's kind of ambiently brought out into the dome, giving it a nice balanced temperature in the air. And once that is to temperature that we want, we have thermostatic valves that run passively and they bring the extra heat into was it three quarter inch or one one inch? Three yeah, three quarter inch copper pipes that kind of wind all the way around the garden buds. And so we're basically making use of all the heat that we can. So the first dump is the the tank of water, then the second dump is the soil. And if it ever gets to a soil temperature that we don't like, then there's kind of another switch that'll kind of dissipate the air outside from that panel. So that system alone we feel can provide adequate needs for anyone. Uh, but we also have another system, which is the geothermal system. So you, you see these big cavities up here. So this, again, all solar run, will draw air, the, the hot air from the top of the dome, down into six feet of a geothermal system that we have set up. So we have about 600 feet of weeping tile that's kind of sp spread out, perforated. So it kind of brings ex excess humidity and excess heat down into the system and that obviously provides uh, another battery. So once that heat needs to be brought up on cooler days, it's able to do that. So we have the tank of water that provides the battery, we have the earth that provides the battery, and then through that copper system, we have a soil battery. So we're basically using all these redundant thermal mass principles combined with smart design 
uh, to kind of create a, a year-round growing season. And as we've kind of demonstrated here, it can be done. So that tomato plant that uh, Gord was just filming, those plants were all planted at the same time. And so some people speak about the acoustic uh, properties of a geodesic dome being phenomenal for sound and recording. But obviously, we've kind of proven to ourselves that there might even be an energetic component to it, where plants simply just love it. We were loving both an equal amount. So that smaller pot was done in a grow light inside, given adequate conditions. And just on the size difference, it's probably five or six fold that they're growing that different. So if you're interested in anything that you heard in this video, uh, our website is dailyharvest.com, D-A-L-Y, harvest.com. So you'll see uh, links to videos and pictures. And our Facebook page will probably be updated a little bit more, and there's a link to that on the website. So thank you very much. And if you have any ideas for us or if you want to book a meeting to come see us, uh, we'd love to talk to you about a potential project for you. So thank you very much. Thank you.